having the best time of our lives. What do you mean the best? I always have a great time with you too. Get prepared to enjoy this night. Mm. Oh, for sure. <laughs> no. Come on, this big guy. One's not enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, go, go. James, you don't look so good. Let him be on his fire. Just need another drink. No. Okay, oh. no. That's no. That's come on. I think James had a little too much to drink tonight. He just needs to sleep it off. Something doesn't feel right. You're telling me I kind of feel funny too. <sighs> you are wrong, Emma. I just searched overdose and James has those symptoms. His lips looks bluish. Check if his pupils are dilated. James is not responsive. His eyes are dilated. <laughs> this is not bad as it seems. He just needs time to walk it off. He's good. We need to call 911. No. Are you crazy? Okay, I can get in trouble. I messed up. I'm the one who brought the drugs. <sighs> what were you thinking? Let's just wait and see what happens. We can all get in trouble if we help James. <sighs> 911, what's your emergency? My friend is having an overdose. Slow down. Can you repeat that one more time? My friend is having an overdose. Help is on its way. Remain calm. What else can I do? Can you ask anyone around you if they have Narcan? Maybe check the house, in the medicine cabinet, or the bathroom? What is that? What does it look like? Narcan is a medication approved by the Food and Drug Administration and designed to rapidly reverse opioid overdose. Look for a box that has Narcan nasal spray written on it. Will we get arrested? Stay focused. Our concern is the safety of your friend. I found one! Good. Go back to your friend, and I can guide you on how to okay, administer the Narcan. Start by opening the package. Step one, lay the person on their back to receive a dose of Narcan nasal spray. Step two, remove Narcan nasal spray from the box. Peel back the tab with the circle to open the Narcan nasal spray. Step three, hold the Narcan nasal spray with your thumb on the bottom of the red plunger and your first hand middle fingers on either side of the nozzle. Step four, tilt the person's head back and provide support under the neck with your hand. Gently insert the tip of the nozzle into one nostril until your fingers on either side of the nozzle are against the bottom of the person's nose. Step 5. Press the red plunger firmly to give the dose of Narcan nasal spray. Step 6. Remove the Narcan nasal spray from the nostril after giving the dose. Also, move the person on their side after giving Narcan nasal spray. Watch the person closely. If the person does not respond by waking up to voice or touch or breathing normally, they might need another dose. Narcan nasal spray may be dosed every two to three minutes if available. Help has arrived. The emergency responder will take over now. Good job staying calm. Thank you for your help. I need some space. I need some space. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? I'm very impressed by your actions tonight. Administering the Narcan, calling 911. That kind of fast thinking just saved your friend's life. Yeah, and he wouldn't have been here. Well, I do need to talk to you girls alone, so let's have your friend rest. Okay. What happened here tonight was a very serious matter. What your friend took was likely cut with fentanyl, synthetic opioid, one that's showing up in more and more substances, even ones that aren't considered opioids. Small dose is so potent, I mean, it's no joke. 
I have to confess, I gave James the ecstasy. That doesn't matter right now. What matters is your actions, calling 911, administering the Narcan. Not a whole lot of people are as fortunate as your friend James. I admit, I, I was terrified. I never used Narcan before, but they are very easy to use. Now before I go, I want to inform you about the Good Samaritan Law. Good Samaritan Law offers legal protection in the form of exemption from lawsuits and liability. It's for people who help each other in times of emergency, life or death situations. I feel so guilty for tonight's disaster. I'm glad we're all okay. Well, next time, these things can be prevented by taking the proper precautions, you know, using fentanyl testing strips. How do they work? Well, First, you dissolve a little bit of the drug sample in some water. Okay. Then, you dip in this end of the testing strip into the sample. It's uh, so sensitive that only a small amount of the drug is needed for a test. Then, you set it on a flat surface and wait about five minutes. One stripe, it's positive for fentanyl. Two stripes, negative. Simple step like this can save lives. 